Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Wine 9.22 finally got released, and with that release, they have enabled the Wayland driver by default for everyone. But it's not going to use it by default, it is enabled, but it's not going to be used by default, and it's still going to use X Wayland by default, but we can enable it in a simple, simple way. So you just have to open the terminal and write Wine regedit. And as you can see, this is uh, the reg edit, the registry editor, working under the Wayland driver of Wine. And as you can see, it is fully integrated with the desktop. We can resize it, it will work. So this wasn't happening on X Wayland, okay? This integration wasn't there. And now it is because with the Wayland driver, it is fully integrated on Wayland. It is running natively on Wayland. As you can see, if I search for X Wayland, it's okay. X Wayland is running, but if I close it, it's not going to close Wine. Like it's just going to shut down itself and shut down any X Wayland thing it was doing. But as you can see, Wine is still working because it's working under the Wayland driver. So now that you're in RegEdit, to enable the Wayland driver, you have to open HK Current User, Software, Wine, Drivers, and under Drivers, you have to add a new string value called Graphics, as you can see and you have to set value to Wayland, okay? After you do that, you click OK, you can close everything, and Wine will now work on Wayland. For some reason, Wine on Wayland has this different theme, and it also has this different mouse cursor, I don't know precisely why, but it is what it is. And also, of course, the <laughs> like this, this thing is pretty glitched, like... It, you can resize an app that is also not supposed to be resized, but this driver, like, it's not ready for use, for work use, okay? If, if you use some apps on Wine for work or for whatever, then this driver is not ready to, to use, okay? It's, it's, it's still glitched, it's heavily glitched. What I want to encourage you with this video is that since then now it's so easy to enable it, I suggest everyone to do that and to do bug reports, okay? Because if I understood correctly, they want to make the Wayland driver the default for the release of Wine 10, which is going to be released under in mid-January 2025. So if you use this Wayland driver and you do the, all the bug reports, they can get a lot of things fixed before the Wine 10 stable release. So that's what I want to encourage with this video, is for people to test the Wayland driver, do the bug reports, I'm going to show you how to do them, and help the developers make the Wine Release 10 the greatest ever. So also there is another glitch. If we open like Wine Control, which is like the control panel, if we try to minimize the app, as you can see, this is a bug. I've already reported it and it's just not going to minimize. It's just gonna become unresponsive and useless. So now I'm going to show you a real application that I use every day, basically, under Wine and under X Wayland on Manjaro, now my own Ubuntu and this is going to open with the Wayland driver. So as you can see, there is already a first bug right here. It's going to open here in the top left with the black background. And of course, this wasn't happening on Wayland, on X Wayland. It would be opening in the middle with a transparent background. I've already bug reported that. And also, for some reason, it doesn't remember on what desktop I opened it last time. And it keeps opening it in my second monitor. And this is pretty glitchy. If it opens in this first monitor, then it's responsive, like those buttons will work. But if it opens in the first monitor, and then I put the app on this second monitor, which is my primary monitor, then it becomes unresponsive. Like this part of the screen becomes unresponsive. It's part of the application. And but this first part is still responsive. It's 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 kind of glitchy, like as you can see, <laughs> things happen that shouldn't happen like you can see it by yourself okay so it doesn't even what is happening <laughs> what the hell is happening now so yeah as you can see it's not ready for production use it's not ready for any use but if you try your favorite application that you're running on wine and you use the wayland driver you can bug report the stuff and help the developers find and discover bugs and fix them because wayland is the future and x wayland is just a step in between okay just to help the transition, but now the real transition has to happen, which is to Wayland, not to X Wayland, but to Wayland. And as you can see, I can move anything uh, basically uh, 
But that's because it, it opened itself in the other monitor, which has a smaller resolution. I remember I've tried that yesterday and it was opening in this primary monitor and it was responsive, more responsive. It still had glitches, but I could move stuff, I could do things and it would work, basically. It would work way better. As you can see, this Wayland driver is still pretty buggy, but that's because it's not being developed as much and now they want to put a lot of effort into developing this Wayland driver. So if we can help them in any way, shape or form, I think we should do that. And it's not even closing the app. <laughs> it ain't even closing. Amazing. Amazing. So I have to close it with the system monitor. So it's FL64. Let's find it. Okay, it's this one. So we can end it. So I'm going to show you how to do bug reports, specifically for the Wine Willen driver. Okay, so you have to open your web browser, search for Okay, this this first is, is so glitch. Ubuntu. Like, Ubuntu is, is a nice distribution, but it has some bugs, as you can see right here. Like, what the fuck? It's not even loading anything. Like, <laughs> look at that. And it has other stuff. So like, snap packages are so bad. Like, you have a thousand different mouse cursor. Like, look at that. Another mouse cursor. Then we open VLC. Like, look at that. And then you have another mouse cursor. Like, look, look at how it changes. One, two, three. Like, it's just ugly as hell and these snaps don't even have access to to your home folder so you can't like for example you can't run videos from the home folder because the vlc snap doesn't have access to the home folder to just throw an error and if you go on the app center we don't have any other like video viewer that like i i'm, I'm able to find and for some reason i don't have any video viewer pre-installed on ubuntu so that's weird and that's definitely weird but anyways, to do bug reports, you search for WineHQ Bugzilla, you open it, and if you didn't already, you have to create an account. As you can see, I'm already logged in, but you have to create an account from here. Then you have to click on submit a new, uh, a new bug. Of course, read the guide before filing bugs. So click on submit your bug, you click on Wine, and here on the component, you have to select Wine Wayland and you have to search it. It's down there. It's uh, Wine Wayland. Here we go. It's here, Wine Wayland. So you select this. This, of course, as you can see right here, it says bugs about the built in Wayland driver. Do not file X Wayland bugs here. So, yes, that's what you have to select. You have to select the wine, the, the wine version that you've installed, which in this case is, as you can see, it's 9.22. Then here you have the title of the bug report. You have a description, you can add an attachment, a video of maximum 10 megabytes, and then you can submit the bug. So it's very easy. It will take you 10 minutes at most, and it will help a lot for the wine development. Also here you have the severity and you have a guide on uh, how to like understand the severity and you can read it as you can see here is the guide you can just click on the severity and it will open the guide for you and it's up here and so that's pretty much it for this video i hope it's been helpful and let's help the wine team make wine 10 stable the greatest stable release of wine ever so that's all i had to say for this video i'm going to see you in the next one bye